This is a Ender 3 Neo and I had an issue where the Y axis would only move up. It would just never move down. Every time I did auto home, it would just stay in that position. It won't go down and touch the bed. And here's my fix, finally. So here's the side here and you can see that rod to your uh, Z axis and here's the motor. All right, so originally what I was doing, I was trying to plug it, unplug everything. And then this is the one that was plugged in here, but I pulled it out and there's a, it's a little tiny bit black. I was like, hmm, maybe that could be the issue. So what I did, I just bought another ribbon, okay? So here's the Z axis. I had this tilted, it's down on the side. And here's the ribbon or cable, the one I just got earlier today. And now it's working perfectly. The Z axis moves up, moves down. You hit auto home, it goes all the way down to the bed, taps it, moves it up slightly every single time now. Or what I had to do is simply just replace this, okay? If you look on the underneath here, you have this, you have like three bolts here. Go ahead and pop that off and kind of move this down. And then once you're in here, I mean, you have to find the cable. It's wrapped around this tape. I had to cut this tape here, and then I had to find it, and it's gonna go right here. The thing is, I couldn't pull, I couldn't pull this one out because these are all glued together, so you have to really give it, like, get, keep playing with it until it finally pops out. And then it was all kind of glue. I had to kind of, like, move, rip off the glue out of the way. So here's the cable I got from Amazon. I'll put the link um, in the description. I think I paid, like, $9 for it. But this one, this is the only one I can find, but it has one end that will go into there. And then the other end that goes into the motor, you have, it's like splits up. So you have like two of them here, okay? So this one side here, I mean, obviously you wanna put it into there. Now here's the thing on the other side, okay? Cause you have, it's split, okay? I couldn't find one with just one cable, or one ribbon. So the first time I did it, I plugged it into there. Then I plugged one of these into there. And then what happened was the Z axis wouldn't move up or down. And when I went to move Z on the display, it was stuck on zero. No, how much, no, no matter how much I moved the dial up or down, it didn't move, it just stayed on zero. So what I did next was, I thought maybe it was a connection. So I unplugged this one, plugged it back in, and then instead of using this one, I used the other one. Popped that in there, did an auto home, did a couple prints, working perfect now.